Hi guys, it's your girl Dobila Moke and you're welcome to my YouTube channel. If it's your first time of being here, don't forget to like, subscribe, turn on notifications and comment while you're watching this video. And if this is not your first time, you already know the vibe. today's video by the way i can already foresee that today's video is going to be very funny very interesting and very nice because i'm going to be attempting to do my own makeup for the first time ever so first off it's good to note that i've not attended any makeup tutorial or any makeup class before yeah i've watched a couple of videos and when i say a couple of videos maybe like five to ten i'm not like i watch them like because i wanted to learn just like scrolling past instagram reel all these times two seconds um times two speed rate videos and all that so i've not really attended the makeup class so i felt okay let me just give it a shot and i want you guys to see me while in giving it a shot and aside from me attempting my makeup for the first time i'm also going to be answering the questions you guys asked me so i put up a poll on my whatsapp and instagram and i said you guys should ask me anything so i have about 11 questions here that i hope to answer in this video while i'm attempting my makeup um ignore this thing that is on my head i don't even know what it is now maybe i hit my head on something or it's not given but we move nonetheless so without further ado let's get into the video another thing to note is that none of these makeup thing i'm using is mine so i don't actually have any i don't actually have any makeup thing to my name that's bad enough i probably just have a lip gloss i know lip gloss self you know my money i used to buy it then i have a mascara that i can't remember who i took it from but everything i'm going to be using today is for my sister because i don't have a makeup stuff of my own and i don't have the money to start buying that at the moment and she's a bit darker than i am so while you guys are going to be rating my makeup whatever consider the fact that i'm using a makeup complexion that is not my own that is darker than my own but let's see how it goes so from what i used to see i think i'm meant to clean my face first and while i do that the first question here is what is your full name Okay, so my full name is Oluwada Miniola Anishere. I'm okay, it's not a nickname, it's not a self acclaimed name, it's actually one of my names. And if you're African, Nigerian, I don't know, I'm or Yoruba, I don't know which culture it is, but I expect that most people should have a lot of names. But right now, I've been meeting people that don't have a lot of names, and I'm like, am I the only one? Sha. What I'm trying to say is I have 10 names and I'm okay as one of them. So I'm okay as my other name. Yeah, but most people know me as I'm okay than Olua Damniola. And one of the reasons why I have issues with introducing myself as Olua Damniola is everybody just wants to say Dami. And I'm like, what does Dami even mean? I don't know my preferences, my name, my roles, I don't know. So I don't like it when people shorten my name and it's a long story, but I'm okay is one of my names and Olua Damniola Nishere is my full name. Thank you. Okay, um, so I think I'm meant to add a foundation next to B. I had even how to open this thing. What's this? Okay. Um, what's this? Another thing, I don't really know the names of these things. I think this should be eyeshadow. Right. Let me see what's on the table. I think it's eyeshadow and let me see if i can see something for foundation oh i shouldn't add foundation since it's dark about what you guys think anyways that was your height um oh this concealer that's brows okay i think i shouldn't add foundation because our foundation will be way darker than my own so let me just go ahead and draw my brows <gasps> ah! I'm scared because I hear that drawing brows is like one of the big deals of doing makeup. Okay, this skin is quite blunt and I'm looking for something I can use to sharpen it. 
Hey, so I think I saw something I can use. As, I don't know if this is a foundation. They said matte plus poreless. I don't know, but it looks like something I can use on my skin. Okay, so what's my height? The last time I checked, which was a while ago, like when now? Okay, I think I'm going to put this in my hand, on my hand rather. Ah, it looks it looks very light though. See, I'm so confused right now. Like I pity myself. What am I going through this? Somebody save me! I think I'm doing rubbish. Um, okay. The last time I checked, I'm, I was 5'1". I think I'm still 5'1". <laughs> Even though I've grown taller, maybe 5'2". Don't make any negative comments there. Most of you don't even know your height, so... Okay, the next question is... I've never started anything. I've answered three questions. Jesus Christ. The next question is, what's your favorite food? So I, I want to assume that the person asking this question is probably a newbie because people that know me, know me, know me, know me, know me, know me, know, okay, I think it's making sense, know that my favorite color, oh, um, sorry, food is swallow. I love, okay, it's making sense. Oh my God. But I think it's dark, but that's by the way. So my favorite food is swallow. I like anything swallow. Anything that has to do with swallow. I love it so much. I love swallow. I think I don't have any issues with swallow. It's just the soup. But if you are going to ask me what's my favorite swallow or favorite swallow food, I would say um, maybe um, pounded yam and seafood or crow. Yeah. Jesus Christ, this is not looking nice. I think I'm applying the wrong thing. Jesus Christ. Is well, I do. Lord, he's not giving. No. Hey, he's not, he's not giving. Hey, God of mercy. Sha, let's continue. I said my favorite food is swallow, but if you are going to ask me, okay, what's your favorite swallow food? I would say pounded. I don't like this thing, Jesus. Say what I look like. I would say <laughs> pounded yam and seafood or crow. Yeah, I like draw soup. I don't really like. Okay, I personally think your bad your bad culture doesn't have like enough nice dishes, right? I think um the South South have really nice dishes and like all these afang, the kai kong, all those things. So I like those kind of food. I like dress soup. I like indigenous foods generally. I like ikokore. See anything indigenous indigenous food. Jesus, I think I already did rubbish. But well, we're going to finish what we started. The next question yeah is what's your favorite color? So i German. Okay. I think they used to brush the brows before they draw it. So favorite color. My favorite color is um white. I really like white. White is my favorite color. Um, then I like soft colors. I like pastel. Yeah, I like. I cannot shave my brows obviously, so I'm just going to draw these brows. You guys should consider that too when you are guarding me. Okay, so this is my first time attempting to draw my brows, and let's just see how it goes. So my favorite color is white and pastel. I like pastel, like soft i like brown i like natural colors i like light yellow light blue light light shade of primary colors right so i like that but generally generally my favorite color is white i like white a lot even i think i have so many white stuff i had to like stop buying white stuff at some point because i liked white a lot i said this thing looks very rubbish but moving on what is my favorite Bible passage? Oh, uh, my favorite Bible passage is Romans 8, 38 to 39. It talks about how, how neither angels, neither demons, neither deaths, neither principality, power, and so many other things. Nothing can literally separate us from the love of God. And I really like that verse because it just reminds me of what in be this <laughs> I beg let me first let's start again. 
So it reminds me of how nothing can actually separate me from the love God has for me. Yeah, so. So, Romans 8, 38-39. So, say two truth and a lie. Um, hmm, that's at so you guys will figure out which one is a lie and which one is true so um oh, what should i do now to truth and a lie is quite hard because everything i'm thinking about now is true so i have to think of a lie to hard to it um But when I ate um, Amala Agbegri and Iwedu for dinner, that's last night. Number two, um, I was giving birth to on a Tuesday. And number three, I've been to Lauren. Yeah, so two truths and a lie. So decipher, I'll be decode, which ah, I think this browse is not bad. I sell this one. I'm not putting that concealer thing because I don't know what to do with it. Okay, two truths and a lie. Then this one says, if you could have dinner with any three persons, people, dead or alive, who would you choose and why? What's the next thing I'm supposed to do? Okay, I think I meant to do a mascara. Okay, three people. First person, Daddy Jill. Oh my God, have a dinner with three persons, Daddy Jill. Like I love Daddy Jill so much, and I just want to have that. Yeah, I've met him in person, definitely, but like I've not had that. I've met him one-on-one, -on -one. but like that's, having dinner is more of like a cordial relationship, so I don't have a cordial relationship with Daddy Joe, and I really want to do that, so having dinner with Daddy Joe is like going to be mind-blowing for me, um, and that person is Ibukun Awoshika, I really love her, I like her so much, she's one of my role models, so I really love to have dinner with her, and I like just hear her gist, hear her laugh, and just talk about stuff with her and just like advise me ma <laughs> that kind of thing then the third person will be Mazino Malaka oh my god I love Mazino so much okay can I had a fourth person mm, okay let me just say Mazino Malaka I love Mazino Malaka so much like our lifestyle is it's beautiful that's just the word so I wouldn't mind having dinner with her and she's a nutritionist so the kind of dinner I'll probably be having with her will be something I've probably never had before because the thing she eats I'm like what's going on so three um, okay what's your dream proposal okay for I have to say that these questions are very interesting and fun and I really like it Dream proposal. I don't know the person that is asking this question. Do you want to propose? <laughs> I don't know. Is your girlfriend proposal or, or like will you be my wife kind of proposal? By the way, I have a dream proposal for both, both girlfriend proposal and will you marry me proposal. And they are very detailed and I really can't say everything here because we're not live here. But I'll give you guys a uh, hint. If you know Precious or Zavise, if you watched my last video, you probably already know her. If you have her contact details, reach out to her. She already knows what my dream proposal is, and she's going to give you in full details both girlfriend proposal and will you be my wife proposal. Definitely, I want to be asked to be my girlfriend. I want to be asked to be girlfriend before um, will you be my wife. Blah, blah, blah. So, I can't give you the details, but I'll just tell you something that it's really elegant. It's really you put in effort that's what i'm going to say yeah so that's my dream proposal please ask precious for all of the details because i can't give you now except you send me a mail and i'll respond i'll respond to you in the mail what my dream proposal should be like then the next question is um are you dating anyone okay i was actually expecting this question everybody asks this question every time everybody's asked this question i don't know what's with you guys and relationships relationship leave boyfriend and touch god okay so no i'm very much single i'm not searching i'm happily married to jesus <laughs> yeah so i'm actually single and like i said i'm not searching thank you Okay, what else do they have to face? Okay, I think this is... Should I have eyeshadow now? Oh, 
I think this is supposed to be powder. Oh my god, I should have used powder instead of this rubbish thing I put on my face. Okay, let me just use this powder anyways. Okay, I see them mix to do this, do this, do this, do this, so I'll just do that. Um, okay, the next question is, why are you called the lamb's bride? Mm. I think I want to line my lips and do that thing they used to do. So, COVID was, yeah, that COVID year. So, before COVID, I was, since I entered in like year one, I said to myself, yeah, I was, but I don't know if, I think it was year one. I don't know why I saw it or where I heard it, but I knew that I saw it and I just felt this connection and I said to myself, yeah, I was bright. And by that time, I was still trying to figure out, okay, what Christianity is all about, my relationship with God. I was still trying to figure out a lot of things and I said to myself, yeah, I was bright. Then COVID came and I don't know, COVID was a lot of things, but COVID to me was one of my miracle years. Yes, I had a lot of bad experiences, a lot of major terrible experiences happened to me. <laughs> I don't want to talk about it yet, but a lot of good, wonderful, life-changing experiences also happened to me. And one of it was, um, I um, will I say, discovering my identity. So it was like that period of my life that I really had time to fellowship. And it was during one of my quiet times that the Holy Spirit called me the Lamb Sprite. And he was saying that it was a journey, it was a Mm, a rebirthing of Yahweh's bride. So it's like Yahweh's bride was being rebirthed, if that's the right way to put it. So I was rebirthed in 2020, and that's when the name the Lamb's bride came, and he came to stay. What's this? Sha, <laughs> I've come to the end of the Ask Me Anything and this very little embarrassed. I don't know. I Like, I'm looking at a mirror right now, and... I'm like, I don't know if it's nice, Sha, but I think the first issue I have with it is it looks skinny. Shout out to the end of this video, and I don't know, you guys should wait my first attempt. Remember that this is my very first attempt. Also, remember that all the things I used are not my, sorry, they are not mine, they are for someone that is darker. Also remember that I've actually never attended a makeup class or anything. So be fair with your ratings. Let me know what you guys think of my makeup and also of the ask me anything questions that I I answered today. Let me know what you guys think about it. And if you have any more questions, you might you can ask in the comment section. I might be benevolent enough to respond to you. Or I could just make another video to answer those questions. So without further ado. I was going to say let's get into the next video, but then I don't know. Catch you guys later in my next video. Don't forget to like, subscribe if you haven't, and comment if you haven't. Also share with your friends, guys. These are the little ways you can support me. And I know you guys love me, Tiare Farm. And I love you guys so much. Thank you for your constant usual support. I really it's it makes me very happy when I see you guys comment, you guys commendations. Like it means a whole lot to me. So you guys don't stop doing that. I see you, I see you don't when I blow. I remember you guys there. <laughs> so catch you guys later. Bye.